unique places only in California. Capitola, Santa Cruz County. While you are in the vicinity, Capitola, which is very close to Santa Cruz, is a destination that you should not miss. Since there is so much to do, you could easily stay here for a few days. Capitola began as Camp Capitola in 1876 and over time developed into Capitola by the Sea, a vacation destination with a 160-room hotel. Capitola is the oldest beachfront resort on the Pacific coast. You can observe and snap pictures of the beautiful, recognizable, and colorful Venetian court from the shore. You can take in the serene yet stunning Capitola Wharf, taste wine at the Arm in the Winery Tasting Room, and take the funicular to the Shadow Brook Restaurant for dinner. Make sure to stop in Capitola if you are traveling across California along the Pacific Coast Highway. You won't be sorry. Salvation Mountain, Calipatria Salvation Mountain is a memorial built by local visionary Leonard Knight as a tribute to everything God and their gift of love to the world. The inspiration for this piece of art, which is 100 miles east of San Diego, came to Knight in the 1970s when he painted the phrase God is love on a hot air balloon. He decided to construct a mountain as the balloon was unable to fly. This unusual site was constructed using adobe clay, straw, and a ton of vivid and vibrant paint. One of the most unexpected and distinctive sights to see in California, it is 50 feet tall. Santa Catalina Island This island, which is only 30 miles off the coast of Los Angeles, has a Mediterranean-like feel to it. It is a popular pastime and is the ideal size for golf cart exploration at only 22 miles long. There are many places to go snorkeling to see the colorful reefs and marine life. Moreover a zip line and even a tour in a semi-submersible. Paddleboard, kayak, or set out on the breathtaking Trans Catalina Trail to get out on the lake. In less than an hour, a high-speed ferry will take you to Catalina Island. While the Catalina Flyer leaves from Newport Beach, the Catalina Express travels from San Pedro, Long Beach, and Dana Point. Santa Ynez Valley, Santa Barbara This is the place to go if you want a relaxing day spent tasting grapes and enjoying an astonishing variety of wines. In the west, the weather is chilly and foggy, whereas in the east, it is pleasant and dry. This means that earthy Bordeaux and peppery Zinfandils grow in the east, while silky Pinot Noir, smoky Syrahs, and buttery Chardonnays flourish in colder regions. Without the oppressive pretentiousness that is typically associated with wine country, the region provides you with an amazing experience through a variety of wines. What more could you want for if it were also inexpensive and stunning? Treat yourself to a Santa Barbara wine tour that includes tastings at four different wineries. Muir Woods, San Francisco In California, there is no shortage of breathtaking state parks to visit when the mountains beckon. This enchanted park bears John Muir's name and is in his honor as the founder of national parks. The area offers a variety of hiking trails that weave among mature redwoods and through their canopy. Off the grid totally, it provides the ideal setting for connecting with nature. The park only has a small amount of parking, so reserve your spot in advance or take public transportation. Griffith Observatory, Los Angeles the breathtaking vistas of Los Angeles at Griffith Observatory make it worthwhile to visit even if the thought of astronomy and storytelling doesn't excite you. Here, you can use the public telescope for free to contemplate the night sky. Otherwise, have a look at one of the intriguing displays or attend a 15-minute presentation about how light works. By trekking to the observatory, you can make it an adventure in addition to being entertaining and educational. There are a few different path alternatives, including the 2.1-mile West Observatory Path and the 2.6-mile Ferndale Trail. The best hike in Southern California, Brush Canyon Trail, offers a different perspective of Griffith Observatory. Glass Beach, Fort Bragg In the Mendocino Coast, close to Fort Bragg, sits Glass Beach, a stunning location. The beach is covered in little bits of smoothed-out glass, as the name implies, which gives it a vibrant and sparkly aspect. It served as a landfill where locals dumped their rubbish, a lot of which was glass, in the early 20th century. What was previously a dump is now entirely safe and clean and is one of California's most unusual locations. Sadly, tourists who gather the colorful sea glass and take it home have reduced the amount of sea glass over the years. Please visit Glass Beach to view the lovely sea glass but leave it there for others to enjoy. It is not only against the law to remove anything from the beach, but it is also bad for the ecology. Sonora, Tuolumne County 
Sonora was one of the first mining settlements in gold country, established in 1848, and it grew to be one of the biggest and wealthiest. The mining industry provided the town with the richness that allowed it to become known as Queen of the Southern Mines. There is still a strong presence of this heritage. As you go along Washington Street, the major thoroughfare, you'll pass structures that date back to the gold rush as well as examples of Victorian, Mission, and even Art Deco architecture. One particular reminder of the region's mining history during the gold rush has evolved into a peculiar activity in gold country. A stop to the lovely tavern legends books, antiques, and soda fountain, which has a hidden attraction. You may see a portion of the historic gold mine shafts that run below the town's surface beneath this unusual bookstore. Purchase a book, get a coffee or soda, and take a seat to take in this special and charming location. Solvang Village, Santa Barbara Is it California or Denmark? The strangest spot to see in the Golden State is this town in Scandinavia. You'll think you've stumbled into Santa's lair in this vibrant and eccentric village, only to discover that it's much warmer than you anticipated. The community was founded in 1910 by early Dutch and Danish residents who were dedicated to maintaining their culture. Today, it's a delightful location where you may take a day trip from Los Angeles to travel to Europe. Keep an eye out for the horse-drawn carriages as you stroll by windmills and European buildings. Grab some authentic Danish baked pastries and indulge in Scandinavian fare. It would be fun to spend a few hours exploring this tiny settlement. It's unquestionably one of the most distinctive activities in Southern California, and while you're there, you can visit museums to learn more about how this community came to be. Hot Creek Geological Site, Mono County Why not unwind your weary body in one of the many hot springs scattered throughout Mammoth Lake after a strenuous hike? Mammoth Lakes is home to some of the best hiking in Northern California. It's undoubtedly one of the state of California's most unusual tourist destinations. The Hot Creek Geological Site's natural hot rock baths, which are scattered around Mammoth Mountain's base, are the ideal place to unwind after a trek. They make me think of the hot springs in Iceland's Mevatan. Despite the fact that you can't really enter the water there, you'll find jacuzzi-sized rock formations with delectably warm water as you explore the area. Some pools don't require a tire, like Pulky's Pool, while others, like Wild Willies, offer a selection of hot pools. One of the nicest things to do in California may be soaking up the sun while gazing over the Sierra Nevada mountains while beneath the open skies. Underground Tunnels, Los Angeles Los Angeles didn't become a town of teetotalers during the 14 years of Prohibition, instead, the celebrations merely migrated underground. Unknown to the inhabitants above ground, dishonest city officials used the 11 miles of service tunnels as a route to speakeasies in the basement. The strange tunnel system in the center of Los Angeles was more than simply a place to buy alcohol. There are rumors of gangster corpses being hidden, police moving inmates, and even banks moving enormous amounts of cash utilizing these networks. Check out Cartwheel Arts Walking Tours if you're looking for unusual and enjoyable things to do in California. It is one of the few organizations in LA with authorization to visit the tunnel's privately held areas. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching.